might need to see that again here today. I, I, I very much agree with you on that, Paul. And uh, I do think they're going to have to score about 50. They're losing two startle, starters, Lindo and Brown. Their power forward and center didn't make the trip, so that puts more pressure on Bishop and Bamisil to produce offensively. Ishmael Leggett inside to Mikhail Mitchell. Underneath, uses the glass, grabs up by two. No surprise there. Everyone knows Rhode Island's defense is elite, but it overshadows their offense. They know who they are. They get the ball inside. They're efficient offensively. Couldn't find the right end of the dunk, though. Back come the Rams. Deep three, Ishmael Elamine makes it 5 nothing. Bishop up top. Samuels, and you said before we came on the air that Kwanzi Samuels would have a chance from deep today. He's an X factor. The assignment for the Rhode Island big guys is to overhelp on those pick and rolls. And the rebound to Thomas. That last defensive possession by GW was outstanding. Stop post up, stop drives as well. Carey, open three, got it. Mikhail Mitchell comes back, takes it himself all the way up. Now he'll set up inside, open on the pick and roll. That's pretty. Get your man to help. Now you're open. The help is there late. The Rams are on. Rams are able to bring in a lot of talent off the bench offensively. Walker with his first two. And there's a bucket. It had been since that early three for the Colonials. Rhode Island also with one injured player here today. Malik Martin is not in. Thomas is. Sebastian Thomas takes it in. Build a little bit here offensively. Four points in the last two trips down the court. And there is the third consecutive basket for the freshman out of D.C., Brian Freeman. Leggett wants to get it inside. Kicks it out to Walker for three. Long. Leggett back to Walker. Another two. They're so hard to shoot over. This is Mackay. Up and in. He'll have a chance to make it a three-point play. And that's a little bit of a football quarterback Patrick Mahomes imitation there. Right here, he fakes the handoff. He could have handed that off, but he does the keeper. The second half of this first half has been a win for G-Dub. Back-to-back -back baskets now for Adams. Top score for the Colonials, Brian Freeman. They tried to get it to him. Elamine steals it. Floats in and finds the bottom. We're being out rebounded by 14. That's astounding for a team that rebounded well now. And that's a strong finish there by Sebastian Thomas. He'll have a chance to make it a three point play. Bishop back in the game. Shot clock down to seven. Bishop with it. This would be his first basket. And Mitchell, who leads the A10 in block shots, has his first. Liggett with the hustle rebound up and in. Dean leans in, and that is a strong two there. That was strong, and that was just one-on-one -on -one right at Mikhail Mitchell. Dean to Samuels. Inside, there's the first basket for Bamisil. Freeman all the way into the lane, finds Dean in the strong finish. This is an excited GW team. Shepard with the ball, senior point guard, went 0 for 4 in the first half shooting. Mikhail Mitchell. Leave the lane open with number 22, and that's what you're going to get. To stop Bishop and Bamisil. Liggett's high off the glass, and that's two possessions in a row there, John, where they get to the basket there off the drive. He's 6'9", but they're able to respond with 6'7", Antoine Walker. Back in there, Bishop deep three, got it. His first basket. We've been waiting for Bishop to do what he normally does, which is have a huge impact on the game. There's an old school and one. Rhode Island finding something with the penetration to the hoop here in the second half. Freeman almost with a pretty runner with the right. Thomas right back with it. Looking inside. Goaltending called against Bamisil. Little pace. And the right time to get that pass inside pays off for the Rams. Freeman, I can't say how impressed I am with about him and his offensive abilities. Strong! Whoa! All the way in, Brendan Adams. Dean with an open look. Said, I got a better one. 
Five-point lead. Five-point deficit could be only two. There it is. This time the high-low execution was perfect, and Makai just didn't take advantage. Bishop high off the glass. Difficult mm. shot. George Washington for the first time today leads. Was all over him, got himself open with a cut and a fade, and still made a tough one. They have been trying to get that shot to Mitchell this entire second half by working the ball in. Pretty little jump hook there. Ties it up at 57. We've got to get an assist on this. Bishop, fade away. Wow! Tough shot. Now the Colonials back on top by two. Freeman was hot early. The scoop swatted away by Mitchell. One second left to shoot. This is, we said, don't deviate, Rhode Island. Trust your defense. So here we go. Shot doesn't even get off. Bamisil had the ball get away. So Rhode Island trails by one. They have a little over 13 seconds left. Plenty of time. Well, Shepard's going to go all the way. Shepard down one, 10 seconds left. Has the ball taken away. The Colonials steal it. Samuels will go to the line with five seconds left, and his team on top by one. Okay. Two-point lead. Here we go. El Amin for three. In and out. That's how it ends. Rhode Island's three-game winning streak comes to a close, and George Washington has its first road win of the year.